Hi, I'm Gene Kamarmi from the Green Valley Camera Club, and we are putting together this short video to show people how to uh, mount prints onto foam core board. In the past, people used to frame their prints for exhibition, usually under plexiglass in a metal frame, and probably at a cost of about $30 per mount and frame. But with a foam core mount, you can do that for a couple of dollars. And the picture is sprayed with adhesive, mounted onto a piece of foam core board. We put a ribbon on the back so that it can be hung. And this process can be done for a few dollars. And it can be done on multicolored foam core boards. This one's done on black. And the process is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, let's show you some of the materials that you'll need to do this. Okay, let's show everybody the things that you need, the materials that you need to mount a print on foam core. First of all, you need a print. So we have here an 11 by 14 print ready to be mounted onto a piece of foam core. Um, the materials that you'll need will be some kind of spray adhesive. This one is Weldwood, 3M makes it. There's a 680 craft spray adhesive that people use. Just about every manufacturer of uh, glue has a spray adhesive that's suitable to mount prints. So you need a spray adhesive. And then you'll also need a way of cutting the foam core board when you're finished, maybe. Well, you need a ruler, steel edge is really nice, and you need some kind of cutter. You can get these at the hardware store, the simple box cutters, or you can buy a cutter from Amazon for about $10 that's specifically made to cut foam core. In addition to that, once this print is sprayed and laid onto a board, you need some way of pressing it down on the board. A soft cloth will work, and an artist roller will also work very well. Um, to mount the print on the wall, we simply use a piece of ribbon, and this is just um, holiday wrapping ribbon available in big spools from Walmart. And to put that ribbon on, you need a hot glue gun. And those are the basic materials that are necessary. In order to cut and not make holes in your table, you might also need a piece of board. And we have a piece of um, medium density particle board here. And you need, I'm gonna pull this up, you need a piece of foam cord to lay under when you cut. And that's basically all the materials you need to make foam core mounted prints. Now there's one decision that you have to make before you start, and that is the placement of the picture on the foam core board. You could place it up to the corners and trim the board to match the picture. But honestly, that's a little bit difficult of a process for someone who's doing this the first time. Our suggestion is that you mount the picture with a border around it. It's much easier to cut a two-sided border than it is to try and trim the whole print. With this in mind, let's take a look at how we glue the print. Spray the back of this print. Very carefully pick it up by the edges. You're done. Once the print has been sprayed with spray adhesive, it can be placed on the board and flattened out. Now, you can be very accurate and you can measure in from each side of the board, put a couple little pencil marks, or you can do what I do and just sort of guess where the center of the board is and trim it later if it's really bad. And one just places the print onto the board and then very slowly lower it down and once the print is on the board, it has to be either wiped with a soft cloth or rolled with an artist roller to make sure that the print adheres to the foam core board. 
If you have to trim the foam core board to match the picture, there are a couple of things that need to be done. First of all, we've used a piece of particle board here. You want something hard, particle board or plywood, you don't want to cut through your dining room table. So be cautious. Secondly, we need a piece of scrap foam core board that will be placed underneath the board you plan on cutting. Lay the final board to be cut on top of it. Steel edge ruler placed against the general area where you want the cut to go. And then a cutting knife is placed in there. The ruler is placed up against the blade of the knife. And one should be able just to cut out. And if there's any problem, it can be sliced again. And the board is off. The print is cut. Um, the last part of making your print ready for exhibition is to put a hanger ribbon on it. And in this case, we've measured down to approximately three inches on each side. We've cut a piece of ribbon so that when glued to the foam core board, it doesn't extend over the top of the picture. And then we've used a hot glue gun with a little bit of protection underneath to keep you from gluing your table and a dab of glue on the ribbon on each side. Wait a couple minutes for the glue to harden up and get rid of any of the little stringies that show up. And you end up with a hanger ribbon mounted on the back of the print.